Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I'll explain Bayard Sawat law with great clarity. Before I start with my explanation, let me tell you the outlines of this video. In this video, first of all, I'll discuss about basics of Bayard Sawat law. After that, I'll explain direction of magnetic field intensity using Bayard Sawat law. And at last, I'll explain case study of magnetic field intensity using Bayard Sawat law. So let us start this video with first agenda that is basics of Bayard Sawat law. First of all, one should know Bayard Sawat law that is used to identify magnetic field intensity due to current carrying wire. So here, first of all, I'll consider practical scenario. Here we have one wire you can observe. And through this wire, let us assume current I is passing. Here, let us consider small differential length DL. And one should know, small differential length is having direction. And that direction is tangent to curve. So here we have a curve of wire. And tangent to curve, that is a direction of this small differential length DL. Due to small differential length DL, we will identify magnetic field intensity. Let us consider here we have a measurement point P. So at this location, we will identify magnetic field intensity. See with respect to this DL, position of this point is vector R and angle between vector R and small differential length DL is alpha. So based on biot sawat law, we can identify magnetic field intensity at this point due to current carrying wire. So as per biot sawat law, magnetic field intensity due to small differential length DL that is DH. See here we are not talking about total magnetic field intensity. Here we are talking about magnetic field intensity due to small differential length DL. That's why I have considered DH that is magnetic field intensity due to small differential length DL. As per Biot Sawat law, this magnetic field intensity that is directly proportional to differential current element. So, differential current element that is current I into DL. So, DH is directly proportional to IDL and it is also directly proportional to sine of angle between small differential length L and position vector R. And it is inversely proportional to square of distance from DL to measurement point. So Bayard Sawat law that states that magnetic field intensity due to small differential length DL is directly proportional to IDL as well as it is directly proportional to sin alpha where alpha is angle between DL and R and it is inversely proportional to square of distance in between DL and measurement point P. Right. And this proportionality constant is 1 by 4 pi. This proportionality constant is 1 by 4 pi. So this is the basic statement which is there with Biot Sawat law. Here I have mentioned the statement as well. See Biot Sawat law that states that the differential magnetic field intensity ds produced at point P by differential current element IDL is directly proportional to product of IDL, it is directly proportional to product of IDL and sine of angle between DL and position vector R that is sine alpha and it is inversely proportional to square of distance between point P and DL. So that is R square. So this is the basic statement that is there with Bayard Sawat law and this proportionality constant that is 1 by 4 pi. Right. Now I'll explain you direction of magnetic field intensity unit of magnetic field intensity and I'll explain you how to identify direction of magnetic field intensity in practical scenario. Right. So here see I have explained Bayard Sawat law that is resulting into magnetic field intensity due to small differential length DL that is 1 by 4 pi ideal sin alpha divided by R square where alpha is angle between DL and position vector R. Right. Now, here to understand direction, first of all, you need to understand this equation. See this sin alpha, that is having angle alpha 
and alpha that is angle in between dl and position vector r and one should know sine component that explains cross multiplication sine component explains what cross multiplication so if you want direction of dh then here we have a cross multiplication of dl and position vector r so you can observe here i have represented equation in form of direction so magnetic field intensity along with the direction that is 1 by 4 pi and here i have written idl cross unit vector r so here idl cross unit vector r that is idl sin alpha and here unit vector r is there means magnitude of r is 1 so here along with the direction i have represented this as in when i write this equation at the time students used to say there is some error the reason is in their book equation is different let me show you how in your book you may be having different equation like in your book they may represent this unit vector r as per vector r divided by magnitude of r so if this unit vector r is vector r divided by magnitude of r then this equation can be dh is equals to 1 by 4 pi into ideal cross vector r divided by r cube so here i have represented unit vector r instead of that if you represent this equation by vector r then divided by r cube will be there right so it is not like in your book equation is different here i have mentioned this equation with respect to unit vector r if you write that as per vector r then divided by r cube that you will have to do right now you need to understand direction of magnetic field intensity see here we have a cross multiplication so cross multiplication is having direction as per right hand thumb rule so if you have right hand then you will have to apply right hand thumb rule where see that right hand thumb rule that is applied as per dl and r cross multiplication right let me show you that by diagram that will gives you more clarity so here you see current i that is happening in this direction and direction of finger that is there in r direction so if you rotate your finger if you rotate your finger then that rotational direction that is the direction of magnetic field intensity right so here as if current is going in this direction then magnetic field intensity that will be rotating like this it will be rotating in this loop right so at point p it is there inside the page right so as and when you apply right hand thumb rule then you will have to consider thumbs direction as the direction of current fingers direction that is the direction of position vector r and if you rotate your finger then this will be the direction of magnetic field intensity if current direction is downward and if you rotate your fingers like this then magnetic field intensity that is happening like this right so here direction of magnetic field intensity is as per right hand thumb rule where right hand thumb rule that you will have to apply in between ideal and r here this is what magnetic field intensity for small differential element if you want total magnetic field intensity then that will be integration of this small differential element where integration that you will have to do with respect to variable where variable can be dl and r right so that is how magnetic field intensity that one can identify and one should know unit of magnetic field intensity here you can observe we have current means ampere is the unit here dl means meter is the unit here also r means meter is the unit divided by meter cube so ampere into meter square by meter cube means unit is ampere per meter right so unit is ampere per meter with magnetic field intensity right now i'll explain you one very interesting case study based on direction identification see here we have a current which is passing through wire and we need to identify direction of magnetic field intensity at point p and at point q so here what you need to do you need to apply right hand thumb rule here right hand thumb that is drawn over here so here direction of current that is there in the direction of thumb so but obviously magnetic field intensity that will be revolving like this 
it will be revolving like this you can observe so at point p magnetic field intensity that will be going inside the page and at point q magnetic field intensity that is coming out of the page right so at point p direction of magnetic field intensity that is inward to the page and at point q direction of magnetic field intensity is outward from the page so that is how case study is there regarding magnetic field intensity using byers howard law now i think you are having fair enough idea about what is byers howard law it is used to identify magnetic field intensity in next video i'll explain you ampere circuit law that is also quite interesting thank you so much for watching this video